Now, a victim of the serial rapist David Carrick has told Sky News he used his job as a firearms officer to gain her trust before subjecting her to months of physical and mental abuse, telling her the safest place you can be is with me. Now, Carrick was formally discharged from the Metropolitan Police earlier today, and Sky News has obtained footage filmed by Carrick as he walked around his home in which, in which he attacked many of his victims. We can bring in our crime correspondent, Martin Brunt, uh, for more on this. Hello to you, Martin. Um, tell us what we're about to see. Like all media organisations, we've been very keen to try to talk to any of David Carrick's victims. You can imagine that most of them are reluctant to, but um, today, one woman who's now in her 40s uh, was happy to talk to my colleague Andy Hughes. Uh, she lives outside London. She cannot be identified because she's a victim uh, of sexual attacks, but she gave a chilling insight into her life living with uh, David Carrick. And she also shared with us a video that he shot around the house where he committed a lot of his crimes. So here we have the bathroom. into a room. Again, clutter everywhere. Down the stairs. Into the kitchen. Downstairs bathroom. More cupboard space in here. Up to the firebox and the barbecue in the back garden. And the front room, finally. I go. On that video, part of that video shows the small cupboard where Carrick locked some of his victims, um, some of them, according to police, for up to 10 hours. Now, the woman who shared that video with us uh, spoke about her life with David Carrick. She couldn't do it on camera, um, but I'll give you a flavour of some of the things she said to our colleague Andy Hughes. She said, he boasted about his job at the Met. He told me the safest place I can be was with him. At first, he was the dream man. He was so charming. But over time, that changed. She then went on to talk about that change. He was so evil. 
she said, I have no idea how someone so messed up can be a police officer. Never mind, give him a gun. If he'd shot someone, I wouldn't have been surprised. And then she said, when I started to speak to his friends, he would stop me. He didn't want me talking to anyone. A couple of his colleagues reached out to me after that. A couple have been in touch since his arrest as well. So she's clearly um, saying that she did meet some of Carrick's, Carrick's colleagues from the Met Police and suggested that uh, they knew something of what was going on. They certainly told her that they were concerned about her.